Wouldn't it be cool to transplant yourself into the world of The Simpsons, even for a day? Well, that happened to one man from Ontario. 29-year-old David Cryan from Georgetown, Ontario, has been focused on writing scripts since 2011. A huge fan of television and always had a, an inkling that maybe I wanted to give a shot. So he did exactly that, gave it a shot and reached out to the executive producer of The Simpsons, Al Jean, over Twitter. I essentially just saw that somebody else asked if he would read some stuff and he said yes. So I go, oh, that's interesting. I should try that. So I reached out that way and I just thought at first it was just a really cool thing that one of these personal heroes of mine would even be take, would even take a look at some of it. And um, yeah, I never, never dreamed of it that, uh, that it would have this outcome. Gene asked him to write a few sample scripts of existing shows. So he wrote one for Veep and Curb Your Enthusiasm. I was offered a job and um, it, 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 we looked at trying to uh, get a, a U.S. work visa, but it just wasn't going to work out. I didn't have the right credentials and it didn't. It, it, we spent several months looking at it from every possible angle. And after that, they said, uh, well, would you want to pitch some stories for a possible freelance script? And I said, well, of course, yeah, absolutely. It took him two weeks to write. Or I could go undercover and infiltrate the workers. In his episode Undercover Burns aired this past Sunday as the first episode of the 32nd season. Uh, Mr. Burns uh, sees some graffiti in the, ba in, the, in the bathroom he doesn't like and decides to go undercover at the Springfield Power Plant to, uh, to find out what's really going on, but ends up becoming friends with Homer and the gang. Cryan says a highlight of this whole process was sitting at a table with the Simpsons cast for a script reading. That was just completely crazy. You got to go to uh, LA uh, before the pandemic, everything last October. And uh, I was, you know, sitting uh, just a few feet behind uh, Dan Kessler and Yardley Smith and, and Nancy Cartwright. And it was uh, it, just completely crazy to hear those voices in that room uh, that you, you know, you've been, we've all been so familiar with for so long. Uh, it's just felt unreal. The, the whole process, every step of the way, it, like it's being a show that's been on that, has that legacy and has been on so long it's just uh it, it, the, the, every every step of the process has been completely surreal as for his next writing venture cryan says he's in the process of shopping around a few scripts he's co-written in springfield stella Quisto, city news